four. Well, Sean Daniels is the single setback. And he'll get the call. We anticipate a heavy dose of the run game for Iowa, which... with plenty of time in his first pass a completion to Tavon Smith who stepped out of bounds out of Curry is behind the fullback making Pleba and it is Kanziri with the call and Anthony the way that Greg Davis described it run game CJ Beathard getting them in the right spots third again good protection and now we'll scramble looking for a completion at midfield their tackles to the NFL a year ago Lost their starting running back and their top receiver, and here's the catch to the tight end, Henry Krager Coble down inside the 35. In his final home game for the senior out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Back to the ground, and Daniels. Play action to Daniels, the crossing route wide open is Tavon Smith to the 15. And a first look now at Akram Wadley. In the backfield with two tight ends. They will give to Wadley, and he's got the edge. Lost his footing. Down to the six-yard fullbacks who were both dinged up last year. Here is Jordan Kanziri. Launches himself down. The flip to Wadley, the cutback. We have gotten uh, the crown of that. This could be a tight end situation. How about three tight ends? They'll run it right up the middle and in for the touchdown. Ready, the snow is gone, the sun is out, and the Hawkeyes have the football and the lead as they start out in Purdue territory. And on second and eight, the fake to Kanziri. It'll be the end around of Vandenberg. Terrific block on the edge as he gets down close to. I'd be the lead blocker. Vandenberg's just going to get upfield. Good blocks on the outside, left tackle, Myers getting a knockdown block again. Do that check down that you've talked about, try and turn this into a numbers game in his favor as Kanziri picks up a few yards. How about an update? Marquise Williams, our quarterback. There was a phone call from Peyton Manning earlier this year that may have turned things around for them. As Beathard finds Smith go back. He will get the call to the left. Plenty of room, and he finds the hole and scampers in for six more. Tailback and fullback already this afternoon. And this will be Jordan Kanziri getting a nice block from one of those fullbacks. Daniels is the deep back. He's got it. He's hit right around the line of scrimmage. And thrown down by Ryan Watson, the fifth-year senior out of Ellicott City, Maryland. Looking that way to Matt Vandenberg with blockers in front of him, diving for the pylon and in. A win today ties the school record with 11. And they'd have a chance to break that next week against Nebraska. And of course, just as important a win today gets them into the Big Ten final. Right now they're about to run. Daniels will try and get them out of the shadow of their own goal post. With a third, third down back is Derek Mitchell. Bethard's pass, juggled and incomplete intended. Thank you very much, Chris. On first and 10, Jordan Kanziri. Short gain there on uh, what was the final home game today for Frank Beamer in Blacksburg. 29 years he will be missed. They're trying to get to a bowl game. And of course, North Carolina. You know, he let them do what they did, and I think that's been a huge in his development of that, that program. Beathard, the third down completion. Henry Collin did a nice job. You're right. Ten straight first down catches. Beathard the throw, looking for Vandenberg. And when this horse moved on to Michigan after graduating. And here is Beathard on the carry, and the ball squirts out. They haven't turned it over much this season, just nine in 10 games for 210 yards rushing it's been tremendous balance for this offense all year long daniels, daniels who started early play selection so far in the ball game that third boy he had a lot of white jerk purdue showing linebacker blitz they will bring it here comes jake replogle and they get the sack on cj bethard 
their top defender, the junior out of Centerville, Ohio. And the guy, the coaching staff says, we wish we could start 11 Jakes on both sides. Well, they're going to bring pressure. And right now, the tight end's open in the seam, but he's not looking. They don't have a hot, a hot route built in. Purdue does a nice rushing for Iowa thus far. Missouri, he cannot turn the corner. The Plogel, number 54 in white, right up front. They're bringing the pressure again, and Beathard goes down, and it's the second sack for Big Jake. It's a great job by Purdue. They're, they're bringing multiple over uh, the center, but watch all this clutter in the inside. Rapogo's going to be a forgotten guy. There's no help because the center has to come off, and again, comes right up the middle, able to make a big play. ESPN College Football, brought to you by Coke Zero. All taste, zero calories. Try a new game day tradition. And Cadillac. Let's see if the offense can get it rolling. Their center, Austin Blythe, former heavyweight wrestling champ in the state of Iowa, protecting Bethard, who finds Henry Krager Coble for the first down. The gridiron piece came into the mix. He backed off a bit. <laughs> That's a senior, too, playing in his final home game here at Kinnick. And after the... Oh. <laughs> With time looking for Vandenberg, incomplete, and there comes the penalty flag. Anthony trips go to the left. Beathard. Forced to go the opposite way to Mitchell. Had it, couldn't hang on. Ball squirts free. And they're ruling it on. Kanziri is the offset back. Bethard. Under throws his intended target and hit a third and ten. The Clover tries to get to the outside. Bethard going to run the other way with it. And he'll pick up the first down and slide. Much better than their first two possessions of the half when they had negative yardage. Wadley as flags fly behind the running back. Running back, very rare. The pro trying to get after Beathard again. And easy Chuku's game. about it. Derek Mitchell's in the game, number 32. Look at these guys retract, get outside. You got the linebackers reading it. They're all in good position to make a play. Rapogel's in a great spot to prevent C.J. Beathard from getting big yards. Everybody having a big game today. Beathard well protected, dumps it off from Mitchell. And Derek down to the 35, so it's going to bring up a on ESPN. Iowa with the football after the fourth down stop. They've got the lead, and they're trying to put this one out of reach. As Wadley picks up the first. Thank you, Chris. So Michigan doing its part to try and stay alive in the Big Ten East race. Beathard intended for Smith incomplete. Alabama, and they're at 25. And second and 10. Beathard waiting, releasing deep downfield, and he overthrows Smith. Ten games so far this year. Third and 10. Beathard, one man to beat, and he's got it. First down. Fresh set of downs here for the Hawkeyes. Kanziri. Nice block in front of him. Cut back by Jordan. Over the course of his career. Brian Ferentz with Belichick and the Patriots. And of course, Brian is now coaching with his dad. He's the O-line coach and this year added the title of run game coordinator. Of course, now Brian coaching with his dad. Beathard. Incomplete and a flag. Of course, head coach Kirk uh, Ferentz, his specialty is offensive line, and it all comes together when you talk about Iowa football. How about the tight end, Henry Krager Kobold? Daniels will get the call. Running backs have been busy today, but Anthony, so have the. Kanziri, the deep back in the eye. They're going to run and run some more. A trip down tight end by the Big 12 this evening. 
a big afternoon here for the Iowa Hawkeyes. If the score holds, they are into the Big Ten championship game. Out. And we've been, uh, we've been talking about the important. I'll have Iowa on a short week on Friday. And they will have an Iowa team brimming with confidence. Touch 